Okay, this is a black raspberry uh, called Jewel. Again, I pick a long, scraggly limb and I just bury the end of it. Kind of hard to do with one hand, but I think we'll get it done. Okay. And once I have it buried, just cover it with some wood chips. You don't really have to cover it with wood chips. That's just a little extra step I do to hold a little moisture better. Now we'll, this, we'll leave this and come back later and see how we've done. Okay, here's the main stem. Goes down this way, comes up. Then we buried the end of it last fall, and it's kind of gone nuts. It's uh, rooted in a couple of places, and one one of them actually has got like four new shoots coming up. And this other spot is similar. What I'm going to do, since it's rooted so well, I'm going to cut it off right here, separate it from the main plant. And then I'll try to separate these two bunches from each other. But first, let's cut it away from the main plant. There we go. And here we have the part that leads back to the main plant, which is doing really well. Okay, I dug down a little bit. I found the part that was buried. And that attaches these two little starts. So I'm going to separate those before I dig them up. Now they're separated. Now we can dig these up and transplant them. Okay, I just dug up the first one. You can see the part that was of the raspberry cane that was buried coming out both sides and this this end leads over to this one now I'm going to dig it out. What I tried to do is keep as much dirt as I could I think this one will do just fine wherever I transplant it But this is an easy way to make more raspberry plants.